get it out of my head. Time just now we've built a musical foundation for this song that we're creating throughout this video series. It's time to go and add some groove. Now how do you add groove? Well, you make some beats. Let's go and see how we can make beats using Cubase. I won't hide you. The very first thing you need to do to create beats or grooves or any kind of drum program is have sounds. To generate sounds in Cubase, we need to load an instrument. So in Cubase LE, you get Hellion Sonic SE3 included. Go and find a drum preset that you think you might like and double click to load it into the first slot. If you've watched the earlier videos on setting up a MIDI device, you should be able to start playing with these drum sounds on an external MIDI device. In the bottom right hand corner, we can turn the metronome or click track on and you should also be able to see that MIDI activity down in the activity monitor. If you can't, make sure your input routing is set to the correct device. Now it's a matter of pressing record and Cubase will start recording from wherever your locator line was. Now you can have a go at playing a drum part in and recording it. It's a pretty frustrating way of entering information because drums have to be in time. If I double click on this part, you can see in the key editor down in the lower zone that I'm not really in time. I'm not that bad, but I'm not that good either. Now I'm selecting a quantized setting that's going to match the grid to those notes and they're probably just going to be slightly off. Once you feel like you've got the grid setting right, press Q on your computer keypad and it will instantly quantize those notes to the grid. Now we can just do a bit of housekeeping and clean up the start and the end point of this part. You can move the event around just by picking up on it with your mouse. You can also get your tool set by right mouse clicking with your mouse. And now I can grab scissors. So I can start breaking this groove up and finding parts that I like. I could edit this groove in the key editor below, but it's far easier to do it using the drum map or the drum editor. So I'm creating a drum map from the instrument that I'm recording. And now you can see the instruments on the left hand side and the notes that I've actually recorded. I can drag the window up and down if I want to get a better view of editing it. I'm just going to solo this part and drag up on the top with my timeline to create a left and right locator. And now I'm going to cycle those first two bars. Click on the arrow in the top right hand corner of the editor to get a full window view of this drum editor. Now I've got my drumstick, I can go over and find parts. And I can start adding more elements to this groove. Now of course, a drum groove usually consists of a few crucial elements. Hi-hats, kick, snare. And it's subjective in terms of where they should go. But it's far easier to use my mouse and this drumstick editor to enter these notes to try and see if I can find something I like. If I don't, I simply click on them again to remove that particular drum hit. Use your quantize setting to change the grid and then you can drag across with your drumstick tool to enter notes according to the quantize setting. So now I've got a kick on every beat. This grid quantize setting will only allow me to enter hi-hat notes based on that grid, which is quite boring. You don't want them exactly always on the kick drum. So I'm just getting rid of them by highlighting them all and pressing delete. Now let's go back up to our quantize setting and raise it a little bit, grab our drumstick and drag the whole way across. A massive part of groove is dynamics. We can change the dynamics on multiple notes by using the arrow tool to draw around them. A box will appear down in the controller lanes and we can use the handles to quickly edit the dynamics. We can change the velocity or dynamics on individual notes just by using the pen that appears as we cross over into the controller lane section. Once again, use your arrow tool to draw across multiple notes and use the handles to create the dynamics. You can change the cycle point in the actual drum editor itself. Let's have a quick look at how easy it is to program a drum sweep. I've upped the quantize setting so I've got more notes on my grid, which means I can play faster. I found the note that I want to use for the sweep. Now right mouse click, get the drumstick and just drag across. Now it's going back to the arrow and drawing a box around all of those notes we've just entered. Again, we get the box down the bottom in the controller lane and let's just draw in a dynamic sweep. A great way of creating groove is by taking notes out. 
Audio loops and samples are easily accessible from the internet and you can download them to your hard drive and use the file browser in the media bay to access them. You can preview them and if you've got a line beats to project activated, they'll play in time with your project and you simply drag and drop them straight over into your project. Thanks for taking the time to stop by and watch this video on creating beats and grooves inside of Cubase LE. Please like the video if you've learned something, subscribe to our channels for more videos like this, and stop by and leave us comments. I'm gonna see you in the next video. Now I'm waiting.